at a certain school, the staff committee wanted to determine how many glasses of water the staff members drank during a school day. Okay, so for example, there are five staff members who drank between zero and two glasses per day. There are two staff members who drank between eight and ten glasses per day. Complete the cumulative frequency. Okay, so a cumulative frequency, they'll give you a table in your exam where it'll just say cumulative. Cumulative just means total. So up till this point, there's only been five staff members. Up till this point, there's been 20 staff members because 5 plus 15 is 20. Up till this point, there's been 33 because now you're adding on 13. Then it's 38 because you're adding on 5. And then if you add on 2, 40. So there should be 40 staff members all together. How many staff members were interviewed? 40. How many staff members drank fewer than 6 glasses per day? So that would be this category this category and this category because the six is not included so this is less than six this is also and this is also so you add up those three numbers together and that'll give you 33. the staff committee observes that k teachers were absent on the day of the interviews it was found that half of these k teachers drank from zero to fewer than two glasses of water per day while the remainder of them drank between four and six. Okay, so there were K teachers that were absent. Half of them are um, in this category and the other half are in this category. When these K teachers are included, the estimated mean is four. How many teachers were absent on the day of the interviews? Okay, so we know that in this category, there's now going to be a few extra staff members. So there's going to be another K over 2 staff members. Why do I say K over 2? Well, you can say half K if you want. Because we said there are K teachers that were absent. Half of them went into this category, and the other half are in this category. So this can also be a half K. So how would you normally calculate the mean? We've looked at this on a table before. You look at the mid number over here. So that's going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And then what we do to calculate the mean, I'm going to get rid of this quickly, is you simply say this number multiplied by this number. We've done this on tables before, hey guys? So 1 multiplied by 5 plus half K plus 3 multiply 15 plus 5 multiply 13 plus half K plus 7 multiply 5 plus 9 multiply 2. Now to calculate the average, you normally divide by how many members there are. So there's 40 members originally plus another K members. So we can say 40 plus K. And we know that the average should be equal to 4. Okay, so let's just neaten this up a little bit. That's just going to give us um, 5 plus half K. This is just going to give us 45, 65. I'm just multiplying this in plus 2.5 K because five times a half is 2.5, plus 35, plus 18, over 40 plus K, and all of that should be equal to four. Now I'm just gonna simplify a little bit, so five plus 45, plus 65, plus 35, plus 18. If we add all of that together, we get 168, and then if you add these together, that'll give you um, three K, and then over 40 plus K, and that's all equal to four. I'm going to cross multiply now, so we end up with that. I'm then going to multiply the 4 in. Okay, now I'm going to take the k over to the other side. So it'll end up being 4 minus 3, which is just k. And then I'm going to take the 160 over to the left. And so k must be 8.